So if you're considering getting set up with Freedom Mobile and you're attracted to one of their really cheap plans, this is a good video for you to watch because I've been with them for 10 years since, well, before they were Freedom, when they were Wind Mobile, I was a client of theirs. So I've been able to see their company mutate over the years from what it was at the onset, which was a hungry, young upstart, like really trying to shake up the mobile phone industry and offer some good value and build that reputation to now what they are, which is this overblown, diluted, <laughs> really shitty service, which is still the cheapest and I'm still with them. But as far as like the whole scope of what you're getting into, like I'll try to touch on some of these points so that you know what you're paying for. And when you sign up with Freedom, it's not gonna be a surprise when things go wrong. So you do get what you pay for with Freedom Mobile. They are extremely affordable. Um, I've got the Freedom 500 megabyte plan, which is unlimited uh, talk, unlimited text. Um, within Canada, 500 megabytes of fast data. It's not super fast. Um, their LTE network, I don't find it to be very, very fast at all. And that 500 megabytes, like if you try to use Google Maps, for example, to navigate somewhere, um, you're gonna blow through that in the first few days of your month and then you're gonna be on their super slow unlimited uh, Data streaming from then on so you're gonna have you're gonna have a slow experience just expect that So yeah, it's really cheap with their digital download. So if you get set up for automatic payments um, You qualify for a five dollar discount every month. So instead of it being thirty dollars a month, it's actually 25 So it's really cheap um, so here are some of the things that happen when you're with Freedom Mobile. Um, they're call centers, so if you ever have an issue, if you try to say, okay, well, my phone keeps getting cut off, or I, uh, my, my phone actually keeps getting suspended, my plan keeps getting suspended. This is actually happening to me every single month. So this is something you might expect happens to you too. So I've got two lines on my account. One of them renews fine every single month the credit card gets charged and the phone keeps running. The other phone, which is on the same account, drops. It gets suspended every month and every month I have to call Freedom Mobile and say, hey, you've suspended my account. Um, that shouldn't be happening. And it's been five months now. And every single month at the on the first of the month, I know I'm gonna be calling Freedom Mobile and telling them, you canceled my plan and they'll say, they won't know what's happening because they never know how to pull up your account. And I'll have to basically go walk them through like how to set up the account because I've been on the phone with several account managers, different uh, like higher level supervisors within the call centers and it's always like 45 minutes of time. So just expect like, yeah, you're gonna be paying 25 bucks a month but it's gonna be a hassle. And like those call centers are the worst. When people <laughs> say they're gonna call you back, like even when you request to speak to a manager and the manager assures you, yeah, this will never happen again, sir. It's not, it's all going to go away. Your next month it'll renew fine. I can see it in the system. It's going to be perfect. That's not what's going to happen. Um, you'll, you'll even say stuff like I'll call you back in an hour to confirm. I've had, I, it might even be part of their training to say like, tell the client that you're going to call them back and then don't like, I wouldn't be surprised if that was just part of how they do things. Cause they like, I just don't expect to be called back cause they just don't. So like that can be annoying. Um, if you expect good treatment, you're not gonna get it. So just expect that it's gonna be rough from that perspective. Hopefully when you get set up with your account, it just runs smoothly like my one phone line does. And hopefully it's not a hassle like my other phone line, which is just astonishing that that's the way it works, but somehow they're still in business. And while they are, I'm gonna stay with them because it's the cheapest, like, for what you get, even though it is slow, like it's the cheapest unlimited data, unlimited talk and text for $25. So I'm sticking around until I can find a better alternative and then I'm gonna jump ship because this ship seems like it's heading in a terrible direction as far as like where it was 10 years ago where they're hungry, their customer service was pretty good. Like they, if you called like the client um, retention department, cause I used to travel quite a bit and I'd, I'd be gone for months at a time and I'd say, hey, I wanna cancel my account they would fight tooth and nail to keep me. Um, now when I go traveling and say, hey, I wanna like shut down my account for a few months, they'll just be like, sure, like we don't care, leave. They won't offer deposit, they won't offer like anything. So as far as like client retention, it just doesn't, ex it doesn't exist. They're big enough now that they don't care if they lose us, um, the long, long term sort of loyal guys. Uh, what else do I have on here? <laughs> The calls will drop spontaneously. So if you have 
like me, a home-based business, and you expect to have longer phone calls, some of my conference calls will go um, over an hour. Reliably, you can expect calls to drop at around the 55 to 60 minute mark. So I know that, so I actually try to get off my call before that because I know it's really embarrassing if I'm on a business call for me to be mid-sentence or for my client to be talking and then for the call to just drop. And it's happened so frequently at around that 50 minute mark that I think in order to lessen the load on their network and on their uh, cell towers, they simply have some kind of background software running where it just drops those calls, assuming maybe you pocket dialed somebody or something like that. So they just drop them and expect that you'll call back. But um, I've noticed that to be a trend with those longer calls, especially freedom to freedom. It's almost predictable that, like more predictable that if you're calling someone else with a freedom plan, like I do where my brother's got a freedom plan and my mom's got a freedom plan, our calls drop like two or three times within a one hour phone call. So just be ready for that. You're paying for cheap service, you're gonna get cheap service. Um, I think that's about it. So. Oh, and another thing is, yeah, your account is going to be managed really badly. So I changed my, it's just, it goes back to that sort of how they run their business and it's, it's going to be a hassle. Um, I actually got a letter from uh, a collections agency uh, recently because last year I changed my plan from, I had mentioned that I was going traveling. So I went traveling and I didn't want to keep paying the full plan that I had in the country because I wasn't using my phone. So I just dialed it down to the lowest possible plan, which was like 15 bucks a month. And that way I could keep my phone numbers. So in doing so, I had a small tab owing on one of my devices of $20. So I bought my device and it was like, say a $300 device and over time, $5 every month, $5 gets deducted from that $300 tab. You know how that works. I was at about $20 left when I went for this trip. So when I called in, they said, okay, that $20 needs to be settled. So we're gonna apply that to your next bill. And it seemed very routine at the time, so I thought nothing of it and I said, okay, great. And uh, they, it turns out they didn't actually do that. So a year later, like I just wasn't aware of this charge of $22 that was outstanding. So it was sitting on my account, $22. But there was no way for me to see it because the only account information that is visible when I log into my account is the active billing account, which is like, you know, if I owe $20 for the month, and it's to contribute to my next month's service, it will just show me that. It doesn't show me outstanding amounts on past plans because the past plan um, was for a, a, a different account than my $15 account. Because remember I downgraded from, let's say a $30 uh, plan to a $15 plan while I was traveling. So that $30 plan drifts into the background of their database with $20 on it. And there's no way for me to see it or pay it within my new $15 plan account login. So there's no way for me to know that it's there. And then I get a year later a collections notice for $20. <laughs> so like I'm calling Freedom and they can't even see it. They have no idea how, how to get me to pay it, but now I've got collections after me. And there's like, it's really hard to settle. So it's, and it's over 20 bucks and I've been with them for 10 years. So at this point, I'm trying to see it as like, it's entertaining. It's kind of like an aspect of comedy in my life that I've got this really ghetto phone service that just, it causes a lot of pain and suffering. Um, and yet I'm still not willing to pay the 60, 70, $80 to be with Bella Rogers. Cause like, if I'm going to be abused, um, I'd rather not be consistently abused financially every single month. I'd rather be occasionally abused through customer service. Um, every month or every few months or by a collections agency once in a while when they don't know how to charge my 20 bucks and set all that up. So that's Freedom Mobile. I don't know if you want to take this video as like a recommendation that I go with their services. If you're a student or something and you're not like, it's not terribly important that your calls uh, aren't dropped or it doesn't matter to you that the data is fast. I'd say it's a pretty good uh, bang for your buck. If you're a professional and you want to have a good reputation and you don't want to worry about getting off your calls before an hour, uh, don't go with freedom. Go with something that's got a more established, stronger network, faster data, more reliable customer service. Hope this video was helpful for you guys. Any questions you have about Freedom Mobile, again, I've been with them for 10 years since they were wind. Throw them in the uh, box below. I'll do what I can um, and just kind of share my experience because I, I just want you to make sure that you're getting into this knowing kind of how it's going to go. It's, it's not too good to be true, these plans. Like, it's about what you would expect once you're in there. So... Hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and thanks so much.